Welcome to 12.5 on permutations. Now permutations are just a fancy way of counting how many ways things can happen when the order matters. So think about uh, if you are choosing toppings to go on a pizza and you are placing your order at Pizza Hut and they ask you what toppings and you say pepperoni and sausage. Uh, will you get a different pizza if you said sausage and pepperoni? No, uh, the order doesn't matter in that. Uh, but if you are trying to decide, uh, if you're a band and you're like releasing a CD and you're trying to decide what order do you want your songs on the CD, well, if I wanted uh, the song called uh, Rocking Fire followed by uh, Electric Boogie, that's going to be different in that order than Electric Boogie and then Rocking Fire. Uh, so the order will be different. Uh, so permutations will are the ones that mean the order matters. The order being different has an effect. Those are things you can use permutations on. So you have five CDs, and how many different orders can you listen to these five CDs? Well, even though this is a permutation problem, we can actually still solve this using the fundamental counting principle. So Let's say you've got five CDs. How many options of CDs do you have to listen to first? Well, you can choose from all five. So you have five options for the first one. And then after you listen to that CD, how many options do you have for the next? Well, you had five, you listened to one, so you've got four left. And then after that, you'll be down to three. And then after that, you're down to two. And after that, you're down to your last one. So you can then multiply these all together Five times four is 20, times three is 60, times two is 120, times one is still 120. So we have 120 different ways that we can listen to those five CDs. Now I want to talk about something called the factorial. Uh, and a factorial, let's just say five factorial, that means we're multiplying five by every consecutive number less than that until we get down to one. So five factorial is the same as five times four times three times two times one which is exactly what we just did on our last problem. So we can actually say that five factorial is equal to 120. We just did that math. Uh -huh. So 12 marching bands are entered in a competition. Use the counting principle uh, to count how many ways first, second, and third places are awarded. Well, for your first, second, and third place, uh, well, when you're choosing your first place band, you have 12 different bands you can choose from. After that, you're then down to 11 for second place and 10 for third place. So when you multiply that out, that will come out to be uh, 12 times 11 times 10 is 1320. So you'd have 1,320 ways to award the top three places. Now, this is actually a good permutation problem. Uh, and so what a permutation says is if we have a total of 12 bands, we're going to find the permutation or the number of ways that we can have three results. And so we'd write this as 12P3. Now, in the book, how they write this is they would write this as NPR. So N is the number of total things that you're choosing from. R is the number of things that you're choosing. Uh, and NPR, uh, that's going to come out to an, whoops, there we go, to an N factorial over N minus R factorial. And if we did that math, it would come out exactly the same. So for 12P3, we do a 12 factorial over 12 minus 3 factorial. Well, 12 minus 3 is 9, so that means it'd be 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times dot, 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 and it just keeps going down to 1. 12 factorial will be a 12 times 10, 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times dot, dot, dot. Well, when you are multiplying by the same thing on top that we're dividing by on the bottom, those can cancel out. And then we can cancel out our 8s. And then our seven, six, and everything else will cancel out down here, 
leaving us here at the top with just an answer of 12 times 11 times 10, which is exactly what we've already done, and we came out with that comes out to be 1320. Uh, permutations are nice because it lets us actually do more things than I have to sit and figure out how do we set this up first. You don't have to do the fundamental counting principle as much. You can just use uh, your permutation button. So two students are chosen from a group of six to read in class, one before lunch and one after. How many different ways can the students be chosen? Well, we have a total of six students and we're choosing two of them. And the order will matter because before lunch is different than after lunch. So this is going to be a six factorial over four factorial. Or in other words, six times five times four times three times two times one over four times three times two times one. Well, now we can cancel out the stuff that's the same on the top as on the bottom. And what's left then is six times five, which is 30. So that's how you can use permutations. So good luck, and I will catch you next time. And as always, let me know if you have any questions.